All right. Well, we got off to a rough start, and uh, thankfully in the second half we played with a little more energy and and you know played a little better defensively, especially. Um, but uh, we're not we're not a great team right now. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm making any sort of crazy assessment by saying that we have to we have to get better and some of those ways are basketball ways but some of those ways don't, don't have near as much to do with basketball I mean, we got guys have to compete better I just uh, it's foreign to me we, we have some guys that don't compete um, the way that I would expect you to compete as as well in tiddlywinks honestly but certainly as a division one basketball player on a consistent basis that would be the one thing that I would expect uh, uh, to be constant. So we'll get there eventually. Um, maybe in the next game, maybe in the game after that. Uh, but eventually we'll definitely get there. We just have to keep getting the right guys on the floor that will at least play and compete in a way that we want to. Um, and then we'll worry about you know if they're good at making shots or can they pass or what that looks like. Questions? Alan, are you here? On those slow starts, that's two games in a row now. Is there anything you as a coach kind of chalk that up to, or how do you kind of control that going forward with the, with the slow starts? Mm, some of it is, is being is, is tentative. I mean, I look at some of it is also not playing well. Uh, I mean, I don't want to I don't want to dumb it down at all. But as we look again, and we were we had similar a similar situation in the last game. I look at this here. We have. One guy's 15 points on 11 shots, okay? Uh, 13 points on 14 shots, <clears throat> 13 points on 11 shots. Most everyone, and so that's your, you're, you're talking about basically one point per field goal attempt, right? That's not efficient. It may look good, right? I scored 25 points, I shot the ball 24 times. It's not a good day for me, honestly. But you feel like it because you scored a basket. And so that's two games in a row that we've had. We haven't had hardly anyone that when you look at it, it's like, okay, 18 points on nine shots, uh, getting to the free throw line, three for four from three. You know, we got to play. I think we have to play better too. That's been part of it. And then um, we've, we've gotten off to some slow defensive starts also. And then I think guys overreact to that. And, and, and our shot selection in this game also was not great early on. On the line, um, seemed like you need change of cover at least a little more aggressive in the second half, trying to get into the paint. Is that something you noticed? You told them to do, and how do you feel like that maybe helped the offense? Yeah, it's something that I I begged them to do, and I've been I've been saying that. I, I just here's what I I don't understand not being aggressive, uh, you know, in this in this sport, any sport. I mentioned tiddlywinks, you know, the stuff I said before the game even, an example that I made about if there was a shirt on the floor that's halfway between you and me and I got no shirt, it's going to be hard for you to get that shirt before I get that shirt on the floor. I, I, I don't, I'm just, I don't understand not competing like that. Um, but, I mean, being aggressive. And so I did, I've been trying to get those guys, to, I want those guys to be aggressive. I want those guys to be aggressive. I hope I get to the point with all of these guys that I can start talking about just the decisions. That's a normal, that's a basketball thing, okay? We can work on that, okay? When, when the ball screen happens, here's a read. That guy did this, this guy did this, those are decisions. Versus trying to get a guy to be more aggressive, trying to get guys to be, get aggressive and get downhill and get in the paint and draw a couple guys, shot fake, get a foul, you know, kick to another guy that's open. Um, so we did a better job of that in the second half. But the way that I coach, it's, it's surprising to me that guys, that that would take, a, you know, me really trying to egg guys on to do that. You say you've been trying to do this. How long has this, you know, internal struggle been going on for, and, and what are you doing to try and get it? And have you thought at all about, all right, back to the drawing board, what do I have to do differently to make this click in their head somehow? Yeah, constantly as a coach, you're doing that, constantly. It's constant, constant evaluation of what you're doing. Um, and you know sometimes it's paralysis by analysis, and I, I try to stay away from that. But but the amount of times that you watch a single game over, right, is 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 insane almost. But yeah, so but it's 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 constant uh, button pushing, is what I call. Okay, here's information. Uh, how do I present it differently to this person versus this person who might learn differently? How do I how do I frame it up differently for a guy on one day 
he needs super high energy version of me, aggressive version of me. Another day, he needs me to to hype him up on how good he's playing. Like it's it's constantly uh, being being uh, alert to those things and trying to get the information across as often as I can. It's the same message. I will say that it's been a consistent message in terms of in terms of what I expect on the defensive end, right? And then um, and also trying to be aggressive on the offensive end. But uh, you know, some of it also comes down to what some of our abilities are. Some of it comes down to what some of our abilities are. We, we, we have to continue to get better. I hope that can still happen. Christmas is normally a good time for guys to get in the lab and improve at some things. But we're also getting the ball around the rim and not finishing. Um, we're also getting some pretty decent looks. I mean, we didn't have that many bad looks to shoot the ball like that from three. There's, there, there's no way. Um, so they, you have to perform. It's game day. You have to perform to some degree. And, uh, and we need some guys to play better. <clears throat> you just mentioned not finishing near the rim as much as you'd like. Is there anything you can point to for, for why that's the case? And is there any way you can work on that uh, as a team? Yeah, I think, I think in, in, in my experiences, I think the game, I use the matrix as an example all the time, right? And at one point, Neo saw the bullets coming at him at a slow speed and he would never get hit. Right? I, I, I say the same thing to the guys. When the game slows down to you, well, this decision, if it was a freeze frame, you would never make that decision in a freeze frame scenario. You'd always say, oh, wow, he's standing there. I'll throw here. You would always make the right decision, right? Can you slow the game down enough to do that? I think some of our finishing around the basket is a, is a byproduct of that also. I think, I think there is some, some uh, doubt. I think there's to some degree, there's some doubt as to, I haven't consistently done that. I haven't consistently finished around the basket. I'm tall. Everyone assumes that I'm going to make this. When I don't, my teammates and everyone else is going to. I think there's some. I think there's something to that aspect of it too. I think it's more mental than physical. I will say that. But so I don't know how to do that. I don't have a degree that's going to allow me to uh, have someone improve in that way. But we have done some old school mic and drills. We went back way back to middle school mic and drills. Um, and we've done that a decent amount of times, right? And, uh, and, and, and guys feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's sixth grade camp, honestly. But so I, I do believe it's less the ability to put the ball in the basket. I, I think it's a less of that, some of it maybe, because there's contact or there's a longer defender there. I think to some degree maybe, but I think it's more has to do with things that, that don't have to do with making it, the ability to make it, and more just uh, handling the environment as you get there. Is there anything you can do from a coaching perspective to change that, to work with that, or is that something that's ever evolving? Um, yeah, we're, we, 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 we're trying a lot. We're trying a lot of things. Um, and, and, you know, we spend time working at it. Um, I think some of it's, I think some of it is guys have to get so confident in that when my eyes are closed and I get to this point and I shoot it, it still goes in half the time on that alone. So I, I know I make this. And so I think you relax more. I think you take your time more. Um, guys may be worried about getting their shot blocked. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it, uh, uh, but uh, we'll just continue to work at it. But I, I, I do know this as a good team, you have to generate some points from around the basket. Uh, either that or you have to have Clay Thompson and Steph Curry on your team and a, a litany of other good shooters. You have to shoot like that if you're going to, if you're going to, you know, rely just on outside perimeter jump shots. Would you put the, you know, some of the turnover issues, especially in the first half today, kind of in that same mental bucket, or was it was it something ECU was doing defensively in the first half? It seemed like turnovers were, were an issue, kind of. Or, or yeah, not strong with the ball. I mean, I don't know how many we had. Um, Twelve for the game. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I I there was some stuff. They got some stuff in transition a couple times. Just uh, yeah, I don't think it was. Um, you know, the old VCU, when, when you played those teams and you got off the bus, there were two guys on you trying to take your backpack. And so I don't, I think that you would expect some turn.
turnovers under those circumstances. Um, that wasn't what it was, you know. I think a lot of it was decision making and just you know execution of some of some pretty basic things for the most part. As you said here today, where's that confidence level and this group's ability to start to check some of those boxes that you've been, been working towards? Um, it's a process. I mean, this is a process. I know this is a process. I knew it was a process when I signed up for this. You know, we've got a lot of guys that, that, that haven't been in this situation. They haven't played. You know, any of the guys that we kept from the old, from the old team, from last year's team, have not played consistently. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a not in a meaningful way where they were counted on on performing in order to win. So um, our transfers, most of them have been in a similar situation. So um, you know, I just I'm confident in this. I'm going to put my whistle on every single day. I'm going to come in. I have an endless amount of energy. I have an endless amount of energy. I'm hard headed. I'm not easily discouraged. I'm extremely determined. So I'll be there every day at 2 o'clock, which is usually when we practice, with the same attitude, with the same fire, with the same energy, and with all the same challenges. I challenge someone every day, multiple guys. So I am really extremely confident in that happening tomorrow, uh, the same way as it did yesterday. Actually, tomorrow we're off, but on Monday.